I mean, don't get me wrong, Duck Lake is a genius idea from DuckDB and Mother Duck. It's a well-deserved stick in the eye to Apache Iceberg for sucking so much, so that's kind of what they get. <laughs> What's happening, my fair weathered YouTube friends? Today I'm going to talk about something that a couple people have asked me to talk about, so I'm going to do it, and that is DuckDB entering the Lake House race recently with something called Duck Lake. Stupid name, whatever. So, you know, when this first came out, this Duck Lake thing, I announced this, I kind of, before I said anything about it or wrote anything about it on my Substack, I'll leave a link to that Substack in the comments of this video if you want to go read more about it duck lake and my thoughts on it i kind of gave it a few days i wasn't really sure what to quite think about this is it just you know another pointless addition to the morass of the lake house world we already live in what is going on what is up with duck db and why did mother duck think this was a good idea i mean they have doubled down mother ducks double down i mean they're just tossing out another lake house format into the already crowded space we'll just talk about it and i'll let you make a decision I feel like we kind of need to talk about how did we get here and what is Duck Lake. I mean, the simple fact is we live in a lake house world now and it's not going anywhere. The data warehouse is gone. The data lake is gone. The lake house is here to stay. So like it or not, you know, all your CTOs, everybody like that running around on LinkedIn, they're kind of like, you know, they're going down that AI and lake house road. It's just you have to accept it. It is what it is. And of course, this means that everyone is going to want a piece of that lake house, Mother Duck and DuckDB included. I'm sure somebody will disagree with me, but mostly today in the lake house world, you have three major options. You have Delta Lake, Hootie, and Iceberg. Basically, Delta Lake and Iceberg being probably the major two, and Hootie's kind of like the weird third cousin who's hanging out in the corner at the party. You know what I'm saying? You know, Delta Lake is kind of like the high school jock. He's the quarterback, you know, that's the big gorilla in the room. And you got Iceberg, you know, who's a linebacker who thinks he's better than the quarterback kind of thing. He's not, but that's kind of Delta Lake, Iceberg, Hootie, in that order are your options. When we talk about these lake house format options, you kind of think about who controls what, right? You honestly have to step back. Don't be naive. Step back and say, you know, you've got these options. Who controls them? And why would they want to control them? So if you think about Databricks, they own Delta Lake. They pretty much control that pony. And, you know, they did buy, do some acquisitions, so like Tabular, things like that. So they're they're trying to get a hold of Iceberg. Uh, of course, AWS with their S3 tables, Snowflake, Google Cloud, Cloudflare. You know, they're all trying to get on the Iceberg option, mostly because they see... Databricks and Delta Lake is like the number one contender, which they are. They came into the race first. They've got the best products, so everybody else kind of ganging up between them. Problem with Iceberg has became very fractured. The catalog thing, like maybe I could talk about that later, so fractured. So people are trying to control and use the Lake House formats for obvious reasons. You know, if you think about you, if you were a vendor, you would want to be involved in the compute and storage of the lake house architectures because that's where the world's going. So you want to pride compute technology surrounding the lake house. And of course, you would want to be or have your fingers in that storage, you know, pie, I guess, for lack of a better word. So it's not rocket science. Lake house is everywhere. That's where it's headed. And this is why Mother Duck Duck DB came out with Duck Lake. You know, they basically, they wanted a pony in the game. They have been known for having terrible iceberg support, like not good write support or anything like that. And they didn't look like they were going to get there anytime soon because of C++, whatever. They were just having trouble. So instead of fixing it, they said, we're going to release our own. So can Duck Lake from DuckDB, can it be a serious contender in an addition to an already crowded lake house storage format world? Can they be a contender? Probably not. Okay, so if we look at this from DuckDB, it says SQL as a lake house format, TDLR. Duck Lake simplifies the lake houses by using standard SQL database for all metadata instead of complex file-based systems. For, and while storing data in open storage formats like Parquet, everybody's doing that. What the heck, man? And it's reliable, easier, faster, easier to manage, whatever. You know, I don't doubt that some of that's true. That probably is faster. It probably is easier. DuckDB is really good at doing that sort of thing. Based on parquets, well, so is everything else. SQL database for storing everything, aka your catalog. You know, that's a little bit new, but a little bit not new, and we'll talk about that. So, of course, Duck Lake is just a DuckDB extension now, making it super easy to install and use DuckDB, which is already easy. 
Spoiler, it is super easy to use Duck Lake. Of course it is. DuckDB does a good job at that, but is that enough? Now, before we dive into Duck Lake, we got to talk about the catalog. Just for brevity, like I talked about with Iceberg, the catalog has become the Achilles heel of the Lake House implementations, especially Iceberg. Unity catalog's a little bit better, but not much. DuckDB doesn't play nice with Apache Iceberg. We talked about that in the Lake Right Support. And Delta Lake is a clear winner right now. Databricks controls that, so a DuckDB mother duck, they had to do something about that. My guess is that DuckDB just looked at the lake house format landscape, saw its obvious fragmentation, still the fighting on going, going on, frustrations with iceberg catalogs, and they just said, we're going to do one ourselves or provide a lake house format for DuckDB users. So what is truly the big differentiator? What does DuckDB say the differentiator is with Duck Lake? Well, it's the catalog. They say that basically you can store all the metadata, Basically, you don't have to spin up another server and host a catalog and go through all that work. They just say you can use Postgres or any SQL database. So DuckDB's ability to use a SQL database as a catalog makes it approachable and easy to use for everyone. That's what they're doing better than other people. So unlike Iceberg and Delta Lake, you don't need to get an EC2 instance up and running and install your own catalog and manage it because that's not simple. I've tried those things myself. It's not for the faint of heart. So it's basically like Duck Lake versus everyone else. As you can see in this picture, Duck Lake, Parquet Files, SQL database, which everybody has, and you are off to the races. You have a lake house format ready for production. Everybody else got your Parquet Files, of course, but then you have this little pain in the butt where you got to set up a server with a catalog API, host it, or use a SaaS tool, buy it from somebody else, right? It's just a little bit more complex. And that's really what it comes down to, my friends. Duck Lake is just another lake house format based on Parquet storage on the back end, nothing new here. And they just recognize that the catalog is a huge frustration for lake house users and they just solve that problem because DuckDB, honestly, they're good at making things simple. Again, if you read on DuckDB's website what they said about it, they're just res resolving a fundamental problem with existing lake house architecture, which I don't know if it's a fundamental problem. It is a problem, but I don't know how bad it is. They just created this new Duck Lake and number two listed there. You can see they're managing metadata's complex and interconnected data management tasks best left to a database management system, aka Postgres, and you can't argue with that but let's ask ourselves hold on now is this truly incredible groundbreaking way to approach a lake house format why has anybody else done this or thought of it what's going on why did DuckDB decide to do this well that's not totally true because if you go read apache iceberg appears to have a long supported sql catalog for a backend and postgres etc already example here learning apache iceberg storing the catalog to postgres so not a lot of people use iceberg well a lot of people use managed iceberg from different flavors of it from whoever not a ton of people are probably using the open stored open source apache iceberg without any help and using a catalog and some of those people probably already using postgres and they probably saw this announcement from duckdb about duck lake and we're like what the heck man i mean if you head over to the pi iceberg website even list postgres support for the sql catalog back end so that's basically exactly what duck lake is just nobody apparently we thought to bring that up so that's a good question why isn't everyone doing it why is everybody tripping over themselves about duck lake online and sql based catalog and apache iceberg already has that option well you know it's about marketing their people problems the iceberg community is seriously fragmented so many different flavors being supported by different vendors and it's just been a mess so honestly that's why people just don't know about it because that community is a mess and that format's a mess so surprise and to be honest, DuckDB recognized that and decided to offer a solution. You can't blame them. How about the downsides to Duck Lake before we actually look at some code? Well, it's a little too early to poke it with a stick and complain, but I can talk about a couple things. By naming it Duck Lake, they literally cut their potential users in half. I don't understand why they did that. You really think people using Databricks or Snowflake or on AWS are going to use something called Duck Lake when they're not using DuckDB for their compute? Of course they're not. So this is not a really serious... I'd be careful how I say that, you know, Mother Duck, DuckDB, they made this specifically for people using DuckDB at scale and having integration problems with things like Iceberg instead of like finishing that, making the integration better. They just said, hey, we'll give you guys Duck Lake. So are you going to go use Duck Lake? Of course you're not if you're not using DuckDB already. If you're using, you know, Polars or something or Spark, and it already works great, great with Iceberg and Delta Lake, why would you use Duck Lake? You wouldn't do that, that would be dumb. 
And of course, if DuckDB treats and develops Duck Lake without the broader community in mind, which they probably won't because they named it Duck Lake, then it will never, this Duck Lake will never move past DuckDB users. And that's probably their intent. They're probably fine with that. So whatever. I mean, don't get me wrong. Duck Lake is a genius idea from DuckDB and Mother Duck. It's a well-deserved stick in the eye to Apache Iceberg for sucking so much. So that's kind of what they get. Now we can play with a little bit of code here. I'll show you and leave a link, like I said, so you can go check out the code. It's available on GitHub. Just give you an idea of how easy it is to use Duck Lake, and it is easy. So I just set up this little Docker image with DuckDB, Duck Lake, and Postgres. Very easy, just using the Python image. Add some stuff, right? Just pip install some DuckDB crap. That's all we need, man. Set up this little Docker Compose setup here. So we got a Postgres database that can be attached to our DuckDB image. Nothing new there. Easy enough. Now we can write some DuckDB and Python code to install and load DuckLake, as well as create a table and then query the back end of the tables created in Postgres by DuckLake to see what's happening. Really, we're just trying to see how easy it is to use. I mean, nothing going on here. You've seen DuckDB before, right? Only thing new here is we're saying install DuckLake, install Postgres, and we're doing an attach DuckLake. Then we're just saying, you know, use my DuckLake. Pretty easy there. Nothing crazy. Create a table in your DuckLake. I mean, nothing new there. Insert some data. I mean, this is just boring, right? And that's the point with DuckDB. Everything they do is amazing. We can select from Duck Lake and print the rows. We can also just select the tables that the Duck Lake created in Postgres and then print them all, which I did and I can show you the results there. But I mean, there's really nothing special here, man. That's the point. You know, you got Postgres, everybody's got Postgres. You got DuckDB, easy to use. Just load Duck Lake up in there and you are off to the races. I mean, honestly, just to reiterate how easy it is, I just want to show you a little snippet from all that other code. This is how easy it is. Install DuckLake, install Postgres, attach. I mean, it's really seriously that easy. I mean, it's amazing. DuckLake, DuckDB, they do a good job, man. Of course, you can see some of the printouts of running that. You can go clone my git repo, run those commands. It'll run it for you, and it just prints out a bunch of crap, sample table contents, but then it also goes and... Hits the Postgres database and, you know, selects the tables that DuckDB created in the Postgres database. I mean, I don't really know what to say about it. It's just is what it is. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty slick and easy to use. It's a perfect tool for people who are going to go all in on DuckDB. Then why not use DuckLake? It looks sweet. It's easier to use. It's going to be easier to use in Apache Iceberg for sure, like it or not. So, yeah, you can just point it at S3 for your parquet files and point it at a Postgres instance, which you probably already have, and... There you go, you got a lake house, easy as pie, I guess. And honestly, they even went out of their way to make a nice documentation website, which, you know, it's more than most people do. I don't know, is Duck Lake really earth shattering once you get past all the hype, which is hard? No, it's not really, but yes, at the same time. I mean, in classic DuckDB fashion, I mean, taking SQL, making it easy and powerful, they clearly have done the same thing with a lake house format. But again, they're clearly... Duck Lake, they're only interested in DuckDB users, giving them people, probably the people on Mother Duck, you know, they, they want them to have a good, easy option for a lake house format that just works well and integrates well, and they did that. I mean, to be honest, they just took a concept that was already there, the lake house, including the SQL catalog, we saw that with PySpring, it's already there. They just did a better job with it, cleaner, more approachable, easy implementation. I mean, kudos to them. I mean, let's be honest, in the end, that's what wins the hearts and minds of data engineering users at large. Give us something that works, is powerful, is clean and simple, and people use it. Duck Lake is nice. Again, the hype has already died off. You know, it was a big deal. It came out, blah, 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 everybody talking about it. And now it's kind of like been two weeks and it's like crickets. So I don't know. You're going to hear about it here and there from Duck Lake people or from DuckDB people using Duck Lake. But other than that, you know, are people going to be using Duck Lake on AWS or Databricks platform? Probably not.